Good day, everyone. This is Sir Jun. Welcome to my channel. Lesson for today, class, will be all about numbers from zero to one hundred thousand. Okay, so before we'll start our lesson today, class, so I will tell you first all the learning outcomes for this lesson. Okay, so the first learning outcome class is students should know how to read and write numbers within 100,000. Second, students should know also how to identify the values of digits in numbers. Number three, students should also know how to find 1, 10, 100, 1,000, or 10,000 more or less than a given number. Number four, students also need to know how to read number lines. And number four, here students should also know how to compare and order numbers within 100,000. Okay, guys, uh, class, let us now start our lesson. So th this slide now shows how to read and write numbers. So I have here blocks, uh, class, or cubes. So let us start now our lesson. So there's a question here. How many unit cubes are there all together? So we have here, class, each block here composed of 1,000 unit cubes. So let us count 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, and 10,000. So the total of this one class is 10,000. So the word form of 10,000 is this one, and its numeral form is this, 10,000. The next class is this one. So each block here composed of 1,000 also unit cubes. So let us count 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. So the total of this one is 5,000. And its numeral is this one. And its word form is this, 5,000. So the next class is this one. This is composed of 100 unit cubes. So if we have your tools, so therefore each one composed of 100, so let's plus this, 100 plus 100, so the answer is 200. And this is the word form of 200. Next one is this, each block, each block here composed of 10. So let us count now by tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So that is a total of 60 unit cubes. And this is the word form of 60. And this is for the 3. And again, class, the total number of unit cubes is 15,263. Okay, so this slide now shows numbers from 0 to 100,000. So if you see your class, we have here a place value chart. We have first one, once. Tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. So the first column class, as you see here, there are three dots. And we have also the numeral of three. And the next place is, we have here, let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six dots, but the value of six is 60 because... Because uh, 6 is in the tens place. So we have here in the hundreds place, we have 2 dots, and we have 2 here. So the value of the 2 is 200, since 2 its place is hundreds. And we have here in the thousands place, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
so we have five dots so the value of five class is five thousand since the five is placed in the thousands place and on the ten thousands we have here one dot only but the value of one is ten thousand since one is placed in ten thousands so as you see your class on the right side of your device we have here ten thousand again this uh, this ten thousand is came from with this one ten thousands place in the on the place value chart and this five thousand is come came from here on the on the thousands place and two hundred from here and 60 from the tens place and three is came from here in the ones place so the total of that class is 15,263 so we have here expanded form of the 15,263 so we're going to plus them all so we have 10,000 plus 5,000 plus 200 plus 60 plus 3 so its total is 15,263 so again class uh, 15,263 is read as 15,263 so as you see here class uh, after thousand there is a comma because that is the rule to separate the period and as you see also there's a hyphen here between the two numbers just to separate the two numbers and all numbers ends with y especially there is next number or followed by other number you should uh, put hyphen okay so that is the rule so let us proceed now on the next slide okay so this slide now shows uh, on identifying values of digits and place values. So on this slide now class, we'll be learning how to tell the values and place values of the digits of the given number. So we have here the number is 75,821 is the sample number that we will use for this uh, part. So it is, re it is a five digit number. So we have here, uh, diagram we have here 75,821 so the one its its value is one because the digit one stands for one only and we have here for two the value is 20 simply because the digit two stands for 20 and for eight the value is 800 and the digit eight stands for 800 and the next number we have here 5 and its value is 5000 simply because the digit 5 stands for 5000 and the last digit is 7 and 7 class its value is 70000 because the digit 7 stands for 70000 and if we're going to write this in 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 expanded form we have here 70000 plus 5000 plus 800 plus 20 plus 1 equals 75,821. So as you see also here below, we have place value chart. So it's place now we have here. So it's in the place value chart. So we in the 75,821, all the digits are placed all in their places. So we have here the ones is one, the tens is two, the hundreds digit is 8, the thousands digit is 5, and the 10,000 digit is 7. So, let's proceed now in the next slide. Okay, so we have your class. We'll use again the same number. So, we have 75,821. Okay, so I'm going to uh, tell you now, class, the place, uh, the place values of all these digits. Because a while ago was all about the values. But again, class, I'm going to discuss also here the place values and values of these digits. Okay, letter A. 
The digit 7 is in the 10,000th place and its value is 70,000. The digit 5 is in the 1,000th place and its value is 5,000. And letter C, the digit 8 is in the thousand. It's in the hundreds rather place and its value is 800. And letter D, the digit 2, as you see here in the given, we have in the tens place and its value is 20. And the last number 1 uh, is in the ones place and its value is 1. So let's proceed. Okay, this are. Uh, slide now class shows reading number lines so i'll be teaching you here class on how to read numbers using number line so let us learn this one so the numbers are arranged in increasing order from left to right on the number line so class uh this is the left side and this is the right side of this number line so we have here 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, and 25,000. As you see also here, we have letters. So let us know what is the use or what are the use of this, the uses of this letters here. Why I place letters here? So, so let us know that. So let W class, listen here, W represents 12,000. Why is it 12,000 class? Simply because we have here 10,000. So let us hear 10,000 and um, we have 11,000, 12,000. So therefore, let W stands for 12,000. The next one we have X. X represents 16,000. So let us check why is it 16,000. So we have here 15,000 give that in the number line so plus one uh, line here so that's equivalent 1000 so 15,000 plus 1000 equals 16,000 so that's correct and letter y letter y represents 18,000 so let us count 15,000 16,000 17,000 then 18,000 so 18,000 is correct last letter is letter z so letter Z represents 24,000. Oh, so let us count here. Let's start here. 20,000. So 20,000, 21,000, 22,000, 23,000, and 24,000. So letter Z here, 24,000 is correct. So take note, class. There are 10 equal intervals. So between uh, 10,000 and 20,000. Each interval stands for 1,000 and count in steps of 1,000. So each step there equivalent to 1,000. So 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, so on and so forth. Okay, so I hope class you learned a lot for this uh, slide. So on how to read number lines using this one or how to read that numbers using number lines. So let's proceed on the next slide. Now teaches you class on how to compare and order numbers. So we have three numbers here, class. So let us compare the 53,843, 53,840, and the last number is 39,964. And we have your number line. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's a uh, place value chart rather. So place value we have here ones tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousand. So all these three numbers class are placed here on the place value chart. So we have here 53,843 in the first line and the next one 53,840 and the next is 39,963. So let us now um, continue our discussion. So first one class, let us compare the ten thousands. So, three ten thousands is smaller than five ten thousands. So, 39,000 class, 964 is the smallest number. And the next one class, let us compare the thousands, hundreds, and tens of 53,843 and 53,840. So, take a look at class. As you see here, we have, so we have five 
three, eight, four. So meaning to say, class, they are the same. So the third one, since they are the same class, we have here the same five, three, eight, four. So the third step is compare the ones of fifty-three thousand eight hundred forty-three and fifty-three thousand eight hundred forty. So now, class, look at this. The ones. Let us compare three and zero. So now here, look at this. Um, fifty-three thousand eight hundred forty-three is the greatest number. Why? Because the three is greater than zero. Okay. So arranging the numbers in order from the greatest, we have here. 53,843, 53,840, and the last one is 800, no, 39,964. So this is the smallest number, and the greatest number is this one. Okay, so let us proceed now the next slide. Okay, class, so we are done with our lesson. So thank you so much for watching. I hope, class, you learned a lot on our topic about numbers from 0 to 100,000. So stay safe and healthy, class. God bless. Bye.